No, for Bre one of the reasons people voted for Brexit was to take back control of our borders, right? Yeah? Uh, yes. Yeah? OK, yes, OK. Well, let's just go and look at the record, because what was the total net migration figure into the UK in the past three years? But you'll have it there, so... But the audience, do you want me to tell them? Because they I, I don't have the number okay. of my head for it's the past three years. It's 1.9 million people in the last three years. What was the total net migration figure in the last three years running up to the 2016 referendum when we had free freedom of movement? Do you know it? I, I don't have oh, it okay. offhand. It was 836,000 people. And I'm sure many people in this room would have voted for Brexit. 70% of people in Grimsby voted for Brexit. How do you think they feel about that when they hear that net migration into this country has more than doubled uh, in the last three years from before we left the European Union? Yeah, I'm sure I mean, people... It's, it's, a... it's too high. I've been no, very no, clear but... that it's too high. And I'm sure people are, feel frustrated but you, and angry you about it. You, you were the original Brexiteer. Weren't well, you? Was... <laughs> well, you were, well as, you were one of the... I mean, yes, you, I did support Brexit. You were always a Brexiteer. Um, yes, and I believe that was the right decision for our country. Can you see why people feel frustrated, cynical, I, Absolutely. I just, I just said I'm sure people feel frustrated about that. And, and again, the numbers are too high. Of course they're too high. What I can tell you is what I've done since I've had this job. And but that's last year. Charge. Yes, and the numbers are too high. I'm not, I'm not making any bones about that. The numbers are too high, Beth. But what I can tell you is, what I've done in the time I've had this job is already start to bring them down because we've taken action to change things. So last year, the numbers were down by 10% already. And this year, the number of visas that we've issued is down by around a quarter. And the forecasts show that we're on track to halve net migration in just over a year's time. So that shows and hopefully gives people some confidence we're now heading in the right direction. To give you an example of some of the things we've done, we've clamped down on abuse of the social care visa, tightened up the number of dependents that students can bring, and also raised the salary so that you have to earn £38,500 to come here on a work visa. Okay. Now, these measures are now starting to have an impact. You've seen that this year, as I said, numbers down by a quarter, forecast to fall by half overall for net migration. So, so you're gonna, are you making that pledge now? What's your promise to drive net so what, what, migration what, down? Yeah, well, what, what we've said we'll do is have actually a migration cap that's voted on in Parliament, so all your members of Parliament will vote every year on, on the number of What's migrants number? that will come. Well, that's, I said, the forecast at the moment is the numbers to halve, and then what we want to do is continue reducing it every year thereafter. But the key thing is here is there will be, for the first time, a legal cap okay. on all migration so that we can guarantee that the okay. numbers do continue to, come, continue to come down. David Cameron, 2010, tens of thousands reduced net migration. May 2017, Theresa May reduced net migration to tens of thousands. Boris Johnson, 2019, committed to making sure overall numbers do come down uh, below the then net migration figure of just under, just over a quarter of a million people. Why should anyone believe anything that you say on immigration? <laughs> Well, and I, I can completely understand people's cynicism about this, but what I, you, you can add to the end of that list, since I've been in charge, numbers okay. down 10% and visas issued this year okay. down by a quarter. Okay. Right, so that, that's, I've had this job for 18 months. Okay. Numbers were down last year. They're down considerably at the start okay. of this year, and they will keep coming down because of the measures okay. that I've already 1. announced. 1.9 million people in the last three general years. elections. You asked people to elect Jeremy Corbyn as their prime minister. You said, I do think Jeremy Corbyn would make a great prime minister, Jeremy Corbyn. Did you mean that? I was certain that we would lose the 2019 election. That wasn't we were not my ready. question. I was certain that we would... I was certain that we would lose it. Um, I did campaign for Labour. Of course so I did. You, you... I will openly say I campaigned for Labour. I wanted good colleagues to be returned you into the Labour then, Party. When you said it. Uh, and I wanted a party that was capable of being changed so we could Sir, face the future here, you, again. Did you not mean it when you said it? I was certain that we would lose. And That's I think many other people question. were certain that we would lose. So you didn't mean it? I was certain that we would lose. So you said it because you didn't think he would be Prime Minister well, anyway? Of course I campaigned for the Labour Party at the last election and the election before that and the one before that. I've always campaigned for the Labour Party and I'm glad I did because I wanted good colleagues to be returned to have their seats so that we could the, um, the, fight for the future of the Labour Party. I, I will move so on I make in, no apology for I, that. I, I fought for the Labour Party at the last election. I'm, I'm just trying to make the point to everyone in here. Uh, 
that you said that he would make a great prime minister. Now, will you actually say, yes, I thought that, or I didn't think that at the time? Just, just be honest. I honestly didn't think that we had a chance of winning that so election. So you said it anyway. I okay. wanted, I wanted uh, to campaign for our colleagues, and I then... Uh, once we got the result that we did, which were the results that I uh, expected that we might get, as I say, I decided um, to step up to lead the party, not something I had planned to do when I came into Parliament, and to change it uh, and to put it back but in the service of working people.